Ciao and welcome to another Music Tech Tip. Today I want to teach you how to create custom Pro Tools shortcuts. I know, I know. Pro Tools already comes with a variety and a lot of shortcuts. But sometimes all those shortcuts are not going to cover some of the functions that you're going to end up using many times. Coming up next. Pro Tools, as many of you already know, comes already with a lot of layers of shortcuts. So my question is, why do we need to create extra shortcuts? Well, the reason being is that sometimes when I work personally, I ended up accessing some of the many menus that Pro Tools has approximately 100 million times per session. So, you know, sometimes having a shortcut will help you to save a lot of time while scrolling around these menus. So how to create Pro Tools shortcuts? It's a dual function. In other words, you need to use Pro Tools, but the function is dictated by the system preferences of your Mac. So here how it works. Over here, you know, I have already a Pro Tools session open. The first thing I'm going to do is to go into my system preference. There we have it. We're going to go on keyboard and under the tab shortcut. Here we have a few options. The first thing I'm going to do is to deselect mission control and application window which are already deselected and the reason being is that as you can see here the shortcut control down arrow control up arrow they do actually when disengaged help me in pro tools as i'm going to show you to actually increase the size of a track let's say i want to click on my toms i will control up arrow down arrow to minimize the size so first shortcut down but this is not the only thing I want to teach you. I want to teach you how to actually create new shortcuts. So here's what we're going to go. We're going to go where it says application shortcut. And as you can see here, I have already created some custom shortcuts. One that allows me to access my IO window and the other one, the preferences menu. As a matter of fact, the shortcut I created is control option command, which is generally how I label my custom shortcuts. So if I go inside Pro Tools, Control Option Command I, give me access to my IO window. Control Option Command P, let me access my preferences. Those are two of the main window I access the most. But there are other few windows that I generally use. One of them is the color palette, which can be found underneath window, color palette. The color palette could also be accessed by double clicking, let's say on the actual palette, of a track but let's say I want to have a fastest way or a faster way to actually access that so I can go here and where you says the app down here there is a little plus sign I click the plus sign and the first thing you have to do and this is really important is to select the application you want to enable this shortcut so I'm gonna go down where it says Pro Tools there we have it the second thing is the menu title. This is extremely important because we have to make sure that the same name we are gonna be labeling over here is gonna be respecting the exact nomenclature in Pro Tools. In other words, if we're gonna go back into Pro Tools, down here under setup, as you can see, IO has three dots right after. Now, preferences has three dots and a capital letter. We have to make sure to respect the way that Pro Tools already calls specific menus. So what is the first menu I want to add? I want to go into window, it's color palette. No dots, no comma, no slashes. So I'm gonna go here and write color palette. And then the last thing you have to do is assigning a shortcut. Again, for every new shortcut of mine, I generally use a combination of modifier keys, control, option, command. And in this case, what is that I want to bring up? Color palette. First letter, C. Here is my shortcut, add. All right. So another window that I generally use a lot is the playback engine over here. And as you can see right now, playback engine has three little dots right next to it. So I'm going to go here I'm gonna go plus. The application is Pro Tools. Playback engine. Let's see if I actually spell it right. Playback engine. 
All right. Since I've already used the P for my preferences, this time I'm going to use the letter E as engine. And there I have it. I will add that. And we should be good. So right now, Control Option Command E will let me access my playback engine. Control Option Command C, my color palette. Control Option Command P, my preferences. And last but not least, I have Control Option Command E, or I, if we need to speak in English, for IO setup. And there you have it. I hope this video was helpful. Now you know how to properly create your own custom Pro Tools shortcuts. Now it's up to you to find ways to navigate your Pro Tools section in the fastest way possible. Until then, ciao.